Hello everyone, today is Monday afternoon in Moshe Almon in Hal Hebron. I want to speak about the subject modesty, Jewish modesty, Tzaniut. But I will not today bring up things like how long a dress should be, how short sleeves, below, above the knees, elbow. They are like major halachi issues as well, but we have more Indians that we should focus on when it comes to women and modesty it's newt and that's when women are looking to get attention and it's especially a big problem when married women decide to dress in a way that she knows that people will look at her maybe not be attracted of her but looking at her and especially when it's men I'm not talking about the, that we should be dressed in an ugly way I'm just talking about you have to use the Chachma that the Ayyubish they gave you when you're putting clothing on. For example, if a woman decides to dress her clothing on her, even with a small detail like, a, like a, a, a flower or an animal on her skirt, on her shirt, her blouse, that she knows people will turn around to look at it. That's not sniut. It's not the modest way to do it. Because she knows the people will look at her. And when you're gassing on someone, meaning that's not the way Basti Israel should do it. And then it doesn't matter to say, yeah, but I have long sleeves and the skirt is, is down to, uh, to the floor. But if you still attracting People, the people are gassing on you. Like people are looking at, uh, on you. People like you, like are really gaining attention from people. That's not sanwa. It's not modest. Same for example, if you put like on a bright, bright pink blouse, and even if you can't see anything, it looks like a potato sack. You can't see any body shapes, nothing at all. But you're bringing attention to yourself in a way that is not modest. And as I said, especially if you're married. For unmarried women, it's a bit different, but still, like, modesty is very important. Like, you can't say, because I'm not married, I can. I can dress however I like to, to, to be dressed because uh, maybe some boy will see me and be uh, interested in me, etc., etc., etc. But the issue is, is, is much, much, much more chamura, it's much, much more it's, it's stricter when it comes to, to, to married women. And that's like with, with everything, like uh, if you have like tights on, like why put the bright color tights on when you know people will watch you like because for you what, what does it make a difference for you if you have like black tights or like or like mustard yellow tights on obviously you put it on because you want people to see you because the purpose is the same if they're black gray or bright pink whatever 
they're still fulfilling the same purpose. But the only reason for you to put on something that the mamas you same in a class because you want people to look at you. You want the, you, 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 you you want people to turn around and look. And uh, of course, it's not always easy to to think about it. But we have to. Also for men, of course, like we also like uh, we also have to think about uh, our modesty. We 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 can't e walk around however we like to walk around. Say like 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 Sanyu doesn't uh, apply to us. But uh, that's another subject. But I really want to emphasize that. But again, like for for women, like it's not a question of the length. It's not the question of how tight it is. The question is like what's when you are dressed in a special clothing. What's the purpose? And do you know what you're causing with it? It's no simple quest questions and no simple answers, and I'm sure that many people have their own they ought. And this is mine. But still, women have to be dressed nicely. Nicely! My wife, she's always nicely dressed, very nice clothing on. Modest. Nice. Really feel safe to walk around with her. Good taste in clothing, very nice, but doesn't bring any strange looks to herself by purpose. Wish you all a good day and with Shradashem I'll speak with you soon again.